Hello, welcome to Luna's classroom. In today's session, we will learn joint molecular structures. Some covalently bonded structures have a three-dimensional network of covalent bonds throughout the whole structure. We call this structure joint molecular structures or joint covalent structures. Both elements and compounds can be joint molecular structures, such as graphite, diamond, and silicon dioxide. Before we analyze the structures, let me introduce you a new concept, allotropes. So what is allotropes? Different crystalline or molecular forms of the same element are called allotropes. For example, Diamond, graphite, both of them are made up of carbon atoms, but they have different properties due to the different arrangement of atoms. We can call these two substances allotropes. In the following, let's analyze their structures. First, graphite. Here is the structure of graphite. In this diagram, you can see the carbon atoms are arranged in planar layers. Within the layers, the carbon atoms are arranged in hexagons. Each carbon atom is joined to three other carbon atoms by strong covalent bonds. Delocalized electrons are formed due to the fourth electron of each carbon atom is not bonded to other atoms. The properties of graphite are related to its structures. Firstly, graphite has high melting point and boiling point. Because there is strong covalent bonding throughout the layers of carbon atoms, a lot of energy is needed to overcome these strong bonds. Secondly, softness. Graphite is easily scratched because the forces between the layers of carbon atoms are weak, the layers of graphite can slide over each other when a force is applied. The layers readily flake off. This flakiness is why graphite is used in pencil leads and feels slippery. Moreover, graphite is good conductor of electricity. When a voltage is applied, the delocalized electrons that we talked about before can move along the layers. These three properties is graphite's properties. Next, let's analyze diamond. Diamond, you can see, the structure is different from graphite. In diamond, each carbon atom forms four covalent bonds with other carbon atoms. The carbon atoms are tetrahedrally arranged around each other. The network of carbon atoms extends almost unbroken throughout the whole structure. Depend on the structure, diamond has the following properties. High melting point and boiling point which is the same with the graphite, because there is strong covalent bonding throughout the whole structure. A lot of energy is needed to break these strong bonds and separate the atoms. Different to the graphite, diamond are hardness, because all of its outmost electrons are bonded to other atoms. It is difficult to break the three-dimensional network of strong covalent bonds. Diamonds do not conduct electricity or heat, because each of the four outer electrons on every carbon atom is involved in covalent bonding. This means that there are no free electrons available to carry the electric current. Most of the diamonds used around the world have been mined from the Earth's crust. However, 
artificial diamonds can be made by heating other forms of carbon under high pressure. Artificial diamonds are too small to be used for jewelry, but they can be used for drill tips. Except those elements, compound silicon oxide has joint molecular structure as well. There are several forms of silicon oxide. The silicon oxide found in the mineral quartz has a structure similar to diamond. From the diagram, you can see the shape of these quartz crystals reflects the regular arrangement of the silicon and oxygen atoms. In the structure of silicon oxide, the red atom is oxygen and the green one is silicon. You can see each silicon atom is bonded to four oxygen atoms, but each oxygen atom is bonded to only two silicon atoms. So the formula for silicon oxide is SiO2. Silicon dioxide has a properties similar to that of diamond. It forms hard, colorless crystals with high melting and boiling points. And it does not conduct electricity or heat. Okay, today's class is over. Thank you for your listening. Please do quiz online before you come to the classroom.